Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's lesson, we will talk about capacitors and capacitance from Cambridge A2 Physics. And in this video, we will only focus on past paper questions. In the previous video, I have also explained one question about capacitance from past papers. If you haven't watched that video, you can go back to the channel and you can search for capacitance part one. Here is our first question and this question is simply asking us we need to state two uses of capacitors in electricals. There are many uses of capacitors but we just need to mention two. If we mention two uses of capacitors in electrical circuits we will get two marks. So we can say capacitor is used to store energy in a circuit. Capacitor is also used to block DC and also we use capacitors in timing circuits. So these if you mention you will get full marks. So here is how you can write your answer. Here is part B and for part B it is given to us that the combined capacitance between terminals A and B is equal to 4 microfarads and there are two identical capacitors and the capacitance is C and we need to find the value of their capacitance means we need to find the value of C as it is given in this question. We need to find the value of C means the capacitance of capacitor C we need to find. Now how we can find out this one is a quite straightforward one. It is just based on principle of capacitors in parallel and in series. First of all as you can see here we have two capacitors connected here and these two capacitors are connected in parallel. So the capacitance simply we can find that one will be equal to the combined capacitance will be equal to 6 microfarads. Now we have three capacitors now. Let me redraw this circuit. Uh, you can see here we have three capacitors now and we need to find the value of C. This capacitor has capacitance C and this has capacitance C and this capacitor has capacitance equal to 6 microfarad. And the total capacitance of this setup is also given that is equal to 4 microfarads. We need to find the capacitance C. Uh, so how we can find out? So they are connected in series. So for series we can find out 1 over C total has to be equal to 1 over C1 and this is just opposite to resistors in parallel. So this is the formula we need to use. Now as the C total means the total capacitance is given to us that is equal to 1 over 4 microfarads and 1 over C1 plus 1 over C and plus 1 over 6 microfarads. Now we need to just simplify this one. So one way to simplify this one is uh, we can say 1 over 4. I will not write on microfarad and we can subtract 1 over 6 and this one will be equal to if we combine these two we will get that will be equal to 2 over C. Now uh, we can take the LCM we can take LCM will be 24 and 6 minus 4 will be equal to 2 over C and if we minus 4 from 6 we will get 2 by 24. So from here as you can see 2 is here, 2 is here we can cancel and simply we will get C is equal to 24 microfarads and this is our answer. So here is our final answer for this part. For part B2, we need to find the magnitude of total positive charge transferred to the arrangements. It simply means that we need to find the total charge on positive plate of the capacitor. Positive plate of the capacitor. So when we talk about the charge on a capacitor, we always talk about positive charge on 
positive plate of the capacitor. So this is very important point. You need to be quite clear. So in this case, we need to find the total charge. It simply means that for this arrangement, we need to understand what is value of C total for this setup. C total for this setup. If you read question, it was given to us that is four microfarads and we need to find the total potential difference between points A and B and that is also given to us that was equal to 12 volts. Now simply we need to calculate Q. So Q is simply equal to CV and this is C total and this is the potential difference between points A and B. So simply as this is 4 microfarads uh, we just need to multiply this one with 12 volts and if we multiply this our final answer will be 48 micro coulombs as you can see the answer has to be in micro coulombs sometimes it's tricky one you have to keep an eye on units as well so final answer is 48 micro coulombs this is how we can find for this question, we need to find the magnitude of charge on one plate of a capacitor of capacitance C and also the amount of charge on a capacitor of capacitance 3 microfarads. As you can see here, this is how the capacitors are connected in this arrangement. In order to find the amount of charge on one plate, so we need to reduce this circuit into three capacitors. And so as these two capacitors, they are connected in parallel, we can replace with one capacitor with capacitance 6 microfarad. So we can redraw this circuit. So if we redraw this circuit, it will look like this. It will look like this. So this is terminal A and this one is terminal B. This is capacitor C, capacitor C, and this capacitor has capacitance equal to 6 microfarad. Uh, we can also connect a battery here so you can easily understand what is happening. Now, as you can see here, the total amount of charge we have already calculated in this setup and these capacitors now they are connected in series. It means each plate has the same amount of charge. So the amount of charge on this plate is equal to 48 micro coulombs, but this is positive charge. So this plate has net charge 48 micro coulomb. That's the reason the question was also asking you on one plate. So on this one plate, the charge is equal to 48 micro coulombs and the charge on this plate will be negative 48 micro coulombs and so we can write here and on this plate will be positive charge because these electrons they will repel electron from this plate so due to lack of electron they will be net positive charge and this plate will gain net negative charge this plate will gain net positive charge but all the plates they have net 48 micro coulomb so this plate will have net negative charge now the first question is asking you capacitor of capacitance c means the magnitude of charge on that one so this is straightforward one as we have already said this is equal to 48 micro coulomb very easy to find but the confusing part for many students is this one how to find the magnitude of charge on three microfarads so let me explain you first of all one point maybe that will be very helpful for you let's say this is we have a big capacitor its capacitance is six microfarad we can replace this one big capacitor uh, with two small capacitors like this as you can see here we can replace this one with two small capacitors like this. So they are equal. We can replace this one. Let me draw the arrow here. So you can replace this with this. So the capacitance of this one will be 3 microfarad. Capacitance of this one will be 3 microfarad. As you can see here, they are connected in parallel. And so they have the same voltage. 
So Q is equal to CV. So the voltage is the same. Potential difference between plates is the same. And the C become half. How about the charge on each plate? As you see, this is half of this one. Charge you will also say will be half. So the charge on each plate will be equal to Q by 2. Simply we can say Q by 2 or we can say will be equal to 24 micro coulombs and also the charge on each plate of the second capacitor also will be equal to 24 micro coulombs. In this case we are only talking about charge on one plate but if you take the charge on two plates of capacitor net charge will be equal to zero because plates have equal amount of charge but charge is opposite. So our final answer will be 48 micro coulombs on uh, capacitor C and 24 micro coulombs on 3 microfarad capacitor. <laughs>